Okay, so let's see how uh, Windows Server 2019 uh, fails on Babon deployment. Let's create, uh, add a Hyper-V host. So physical. And then you choose a account to deploy the server. And the server we have for the testing is this IP. Okay. Just to make sure this is the server we're using. We're deploying on a UCS uh, group. Uh, make sure that the server does not exist in the pool. So UCS4 does not exist. And just to make another certain thing sure is it doesn't have a DNS. Uh, okay, UCS4 does not have a DNS. So this one. Uh, Deploy. During this time, we have the server on Babon deployment. So let's enter into the server. So this is when it's on discovery. We want it to name UCS4. This is on doing deep discovery. Okay, logged in. Okay, now we're caving in into the server. We have it on the side just to make everything clearly what it's doing in the process step. I'll, I'll speed up this part. The server is now booting along. We have a BIOS post. Now the server is booting up from a PIE network boot. This is coming from the PIE server. Now we're entering into the what I call system center uh, deep discovery process, and uh, now we're doing the deep discovery, and we should get all our information pretty soon. Now that the deep discovery process has I will select it on which disk I'm going to use. Uh, this one is all pre-configured. Uh, that which one will be the management, which one will be the deployment. Now let's start the process. So we have this one set up. Uh, into more information. And then the process starts. This is being configured. BSD, this is being transferred onto the server. Now the uh, transfer of the disk has been completed. Now we're doing a conversion of the disk this VHD the dynamic disk now this is all conversion almost completed so let's uh, do a disk check what uh, we did do this Now you can see that this has been enabled. Uh, 
and the OSS customizing. So we will have a look. So there's we have the boot edit. Now boot manager completed. Windows boot manager and then the, we have a Windows boot server up at the back. And now it's in the process of cleaning up. So this is our boot loader configuration. As set it to boot the VHT location Windows 2019 UCS uh, 1809/2VHD. Uh, that's configured for the boot. Okay, so this cleanup has been completed and the server is in the process of booting up. The server is booting up along slowly. Now that the server has been booting into uh, the getting ready of the Windows platform, Oh, we're getting ready. Let me see if I can access the system during the time that it's being set up. And then uh, do a system check. Windows system. Okay. So the server has put itself into a reboot one time. Uh, so the server is going into another reboot. The booting process is coming along slowly. Now we have a full BIOS pulse. The uh, server has come up on a second boot with this following error. I'll move it on to the side uh, and I don't know what information I can get out of this. Okay, um, box with a sys or a sys log of the server. Um, so UCS4 is a host name. IT, Windows Sugar, Organized Sugar. We have the RAM, we have the page file, something weird, why is it on, on directory on the page file. We have the domain, so it's logged onto a domain. And we have all the fix. And then we have all the NICs, so uh, I don't know if PowerShell works. Well, object. Okay, then this one. Maybe I'll use make, just to make sure that it's this one. So we have all the lists of what's installed. So we have Hyper-V installed. We have .NET. We have multiple I.O. installed. Uh, we have PowerShell installed. So that is all correct. So that uh, looks like a good start. That will, why are we having this error if you need any more thing that I need can investigate from this build a this boot uh, please tell me I'll try to get the logs if I can let me try to do a ping DC one yes I can ping the domain controller see if it's been in the service yes the the server has been registered onto the domain so that is one thing good. So okay, so let's start. What's 
we have an issue here. So we will use net use that's mounted on to the drive hex and then let's uh, mount to our drive. So we cannot mount. This is one of the reasons why we have this issue is I think it's why is it not joining the domain here is because the IP address is not receiving so uh, with that I'll try to uh, renew RPC server not available release so this is one thing I find as an issue that the the Nix cannot receive IP from the DHCP server or being assigned IP address. Well, this is interesting. RPC server not working. So let's see if we can see if the service is not working. Maybe we can do a decom and then also in the same time we do a RPC to check and all three are working so it's not this one so the service is running so let's do a register check Get item property and let's do a path and then let's do HKLM. Okay, correct. System current. Current control set and then we will do service and then we do R, RPC we want the service so we have RPC manager DOM launch correct DOM infrastructure error control 1 that's right we have start Two. That looks all right. Now let's check on to the dawn. What does the dawn say? The launch. So the dawn says the dawn launch. Where is the dawn launch? Start time is also two. That is also correct. Now let's check on the RPC manager. So this one's also a start two. That's correct. 